All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to the show. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon. It is. Right at noon, hopefully. Yeah, the weather's nice again today. I'm wearing spring clothes because it is what it is. I'm pretending it's spring, and that's what we're doing. And it's laundry day. <laughs> no. All right. We got an awesome show. This one I'm excited about. I feel, what was the last show? It was kind of like more negative, like stuff to stop doing, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember either. That was last week. That's a long time ago. Yeah. COVID times. So this week we got an awesome one. This is a fun, one of our funnest shows and it's updated. It is five awesome reasons why real estate is the best career in the universe. It really is the best career in yeah. the universe. Well, is it the best in the universe? I think a vacation, like like a vacation, uh, someone who ranks vacations and had to go on all the vacations. Dude. You're either, I think that'd be cool. You're either sticking to it or you're not. Is it the best or is it not? It's the best. Thank you. Thank and, you. and you know why it's the best? Because we're in it? Uh, no, I'm going to give you five reasons why it's the best, <laughs> but thanks. So number five, and this one is almost just for a joke. It is. Flexible schedule. I know what you're thinking. You can control your own schedule, right? No. Nope. Your schedule is flexible because it changes. You'll work always. 24-7. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's why it's flexible. If you go it, on vacation or you have something to do that day, you will get four clients that you haven't heard from in three months call you. Yeah. So anyone who's telling you, you're trying to get into real estate and they're like, oh yeah, you're going to be able to control your schedule. Well, no, nights and weekends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. Nope. Wrong. That's when everybody else doesn't work. So that's yep. when you're going to work yeah. the most. Ask John. John will tell you. <laughs> John! He's... He doesn't like me yelling his name anymore. Instead of saying John, like we used to say mom all the time, now it's John. And you say it the same exact same way. Mom! <laughs> That's my mom. She's not here. What's up? Shout out to my mom. What's up, mom? All right. So anything else? You got nothing to add to that? It is the Nicole and Craig show, so why don't you and Craig some of number five? Or and Nicole. This week is better than last week. Like, I don't want to literally kill him. I just want to shove him <laughs> off the seat that he's sitting on with his, I don't give any contribution to the show. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, number four. See, we get to help people with one of their largest investments. For a lot of people... Their house is, is one of their larger investments. And even in the last couple of years, how the market has appreciated so quickly. And, yeah. and uh, that's great. I mean, people are, there's a lot of wealth being generated right now. Yeah, I think people definitely are realizing they need a realtor in their corner, especially with how crazy. Realtor. Oh, my gosh. It, should I just make this the Craig show? I'm just going to be quiet. No, I'm, it would not be as fun as if it, if it was just the Craig show. Are you sure? Yeah. Is there any more things you need to correct about what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there will be. Just keep going. <laughs> Ever. So, yes, it's the biggest investment that, you know, people do have. So it's kind of cool to kind of be in that position of helping people with their largest purchase they do make and kind of being there to see the whole process. It is very cool. It is very cool. So I think that's a great, I think that's one of the greatest things about this. And you know what else is cool? I mean, everyone lives in a house, right? Or, well, everyone lives under a roof. I would Somewhere. assume, yeah. and underneath that roof is usually uh, some foundation and some f and the earth, and then someone usually owns that section of earth. So that's real estate, and that's where you know. So it's good job security, I guess. You know, John, can we cut this because it's super boring at this point? Don't say stuff that we're gonna cut. That's fine. Why? Unless I say any bad words, we're gonna we're gonna rock steady. Because uh -huh. last time we pulled the video and then it didn't get shared out again, or we didn't share it out again correctly. Well, we didn't share it out again. That was our fault. No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, I know what you guys are thinking. We're going to skip right to number three, right? We're going to skip right to number three? Sure. You are I correct. Skip. Number three. It makes it easier to build wealth. Okay? If you look at any billionaires or any millionaires over time, Almost every single one of them have used real estate in one way, shape, or form to help build or maintain their wealth. Yeah. So I think that's a, that's a great thing. You know, when you can, like rental property, I believe every real estate agent should at least own a rental property or unless, I guess, unless you like to flip homes and stuff like that, I think that's fine too. But I think every real estate agent should probably own at least one or two investment homes like uh, rental properties or even commercial building have some... Yeah, real estate. I, mean, I think once you've been in the business for a while, I think almost everybody I know does dip their toe into that at some point. I have a rental property, um, but that was just because I kind of had to because I built or bought in 2006. But it's been a good investment um, to keep over time. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, would you take would you take restaurant advice from someone who's never eaten at any of the restaurants that they're going to advise you of? No, no, me neither. So it's kind of like if you're going to advise your clients on rental property, I think it's good if you have some rental properties so you can talk from. You know, I made tons of mistakes in rental properties earlier on in my career, and now I still have some, and I like them. You know, they're good. Are they a little extra head headache? Yeah, of course. But or can they be? Yeah, they can be. If you don't but if you get some, term. yeah, if you get some good tenants in there, you're going to be great. Yeah. You know, take care of your house. It's great. Okay. Anything else? Mm, I think so. How else could you build wealth with uh, with in, like investment properties? Well, I don't know if that's necessarily investment properties, but I think. If you actually budget and do what you need to do, like with you, the money that you do have coming in, you can build wealth that way too. Listen, you're you're at like a three right now. You need to be at least up at a seven if you're going to do the show. All right, so you need to you need to fire it up a little bit. Come on, everyone. Does everyone agree that Nicole needs to just get a little bit more energy going right now? If you could push more buttons of mine during the show, it'd be great. Maybe that's <laughs> why I'm so quiet. I'm not sure, but <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a C. Right. It's a C, Nick. Yeah. All right. So um, easier to build wealth. Okay. So number two, this one was uh, Nicole's one and only contribution to the top five today. So I'll go ahead and let her do that. Oh, why, thank you. You're sir, welcome. That you're going to let me, King of the Please Corn call me Nicole. Craig. Um, Thanks. So in my opinion, colleagues are the best. Like we have a really big friend pool that, you know, all different kinds of personalities Everybody watches out for each other. Definitely not all at the same company. And I think over time you build those relationships um, with people that you know, even if you're not the same company, will have your back. Um, you can call, like, you can't get anybody to show a home and they're not the same company. You can still call them and say, hey, and they'll do those favors for you. Um, and for me, that's a lot of what I like about my job now is just, you know, networking and talking to people and, you know, making those connections with the colleagues. Definitely, definitely. And I think a lot of real estate agents, too, where most, a lot of us are extroverts. A lot of us can be a lot of fun, you know, so I think, I think it's good, you know, when you're, when we do realtor conventions and stuff like that, it's a bunch of just wild, fun people to be around. I like that. I think it's cool. Because our job can be really stressful and you need people that are in the business because only people in the business understand what we go through every day. You know, the, a normal person doesn't realize yeah. what we do 24 7 all day long although i do hate getting around a bunch of realtors and everyone's like discussing like previous like wounds like from deals like once i had this seller and he wouldn't lower the price or something like that you know like you know all those kinds of stories i guess i don't necessarily some need those to are fun though yeah some of those stories are fun i think yeah after 20 years they kind of just you know blend in together is yeah it's, it's like oh that one that was you grandpa yeah real estate. i remember when they built houses out of rocks I used the MLS book and had different flip pages for it. <laughs> nice. They only came out once a week. So can you imagine how thin that book would be right now with no inventory? Like page one. Oh, no inventory. You're done. It's gone. I yeah. just burned it. Oh, oh, yeah. That one's gone. Okay. Okay. Now let's get on to the number one thing. And I've, I've mentioned this in some of our other videos before. Uh, it's one of my favorite things. It recharges my batteries every year and stuff like that. But it's working with a first-time home buyer. When they're all excited and they're, you know, they're crying tears of joy at closing because they're so happy or, or the extended family's there and they're all crying because it's the, it's the first in their lineage that have bought a house. And it's like, it's so cool. It's just such a heartwarming, just a great experience. What about you? Yeah, I think especially if you have somebody who has tried to buy a house for a really long time and they finally reached that goal, I think those are the people that get really excited about it. And when you have somebody that, um, really appreciates what you do that helps i think boost you too so that's where we're at i just made a little thing that says you're at a three you need to turn it up to a seven <laughs> i wasn't aware i was the duck in that picture so that's supposed to that's, go? it's supposed to be like a volume knob not a duck oh it looks like a face i don't know whatever three to a seven all right we'll agree to disagree everyone um so what else were you saying about how great it is working with first-time home buyers I was just saying, I don't know. So long and short, she agrees. I'm a, I'm okay. A three, so you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can only perform at a three. You gotta, you gotta turn the energy level up. You gotta, you gotta just rock steady. Our okay. fans deserve more. This is the energy level I'm always at. I know. I think your energy level is a little low today, so you're trying to make me make up for it. What? True. I don't know about he that. Chugged a gallon of coffee before he came a in. A gallon here. of coffee. <laughs> Maybe I should give him some sugar. That works real well. I most don't. Of the do, time. It's poison. Woo. I don't eat sugar. 
All right. I think All right. I think I think that's a good show for today. Yeah. So real estate's the best career. I think so. Yeah. I like it. What's that? I'm doing it. I What's think that? Real estate's the best career. Change my mind. Do we have to do that? <laughs> should we? That's we'll, what we'll thumbnail host, should be. We'll host, we'll host some debates. Um, oh. All right, and then uh, I guess that's it. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys got any awesome show ideas, feel free to hit it, um, hit it, put it in the comments, and we'll look at it. And I'll probably write it. Uh, she might write one of the five things, so she'll do twenty percent per use. But we'll uh, we'll get it figured out. I was gonna say something else, but now I can't remember what it was. See, See you there. Next uh, Friday. So she'll do her eighteen percent, I guess. This is my princess wave. See you next Friday. All right, thanks everyone. Goodbye.